so CT has an astronomical We'll never ever be the same man. That's our first track for today. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Ancient International Radio. You are listening right now to the Daily Edition of English Language Program, uh, uh, presented by Hudib and Sheikh. On air and studio one uh, with uh, my colleague uh, Faisal Ali for the technical engineering. Today we are going to speak about space, we are going to speak about astronomy, especially about the very interesting event that is going to happen very soon, uh, actually on the 30th, to celebrate the International Asteroid Day. So I would like to thank Najmuddin Tabe for coming and telling us more about it. He is from the Astronomical Society of Tunisia, and in Arabic is Mac. Yes, yes. Uh, there is a, the, yeah. I mean, the symbol of the association, and uh, oh, uh, or otherwise, it is the French name that you are going also to find on the Facebook page. If you are going to look uh, for the uh, for the Facebook page, it is La Société Astronomique de Tunisie. Okay, thanks, Najmuddin. Sat. Sat point a and Yeah. Okay, for the website. Good, Najmuddin. Thanks for coming first. And Thank I'm you. happy to find someone speaking English to talk about the activities of the uh, Tunisian Astronomical Society. So, um, will you tell us about this event and explain for us uh, what's going on in such events like that? What kind of, I mean, uh, what kind of activities are planned? And later on, we're going to speak about also the activities of the association in itself. Okay. Uh, thank you for the invitation first. Welcome. Uh, today I'm here to talk uh, to the audience about uh, the Asteroid Day, yes. which is an international event. It is a UN-sanctioned global awareness campaign. Mm -hmm. so this campaign is held around 119 countries. Yeah. And uh, the international organizers, the Asteroid Day Foundation, mm -hmm. choose the Tunisian Astronomical Society to organize it here in okay. Tunisia. Mm. So, That's uh, a privilege. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay, uh, so um, I suppose Tunisians start being very interested in such topics, especially that you are planning for plenty of activities recently. Uh, we missed the event, which is the Tunisian Sunday, but yes. actually there are plenty of upcoming events, so for those who are really interested to attend your event. So what's going to happen on the 30th of June? Okay, so on the 13th of June, we are going to organize the Asteroid Day. It's going to be in uh, Sidi Busaid Park. Mm -hmm. It's a public space and open to everybody. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a free event mm -hmm. for everybody. It's go there's going to be activities for children, uh, workshops, there's going to be a conference mm -hmm. about asteroids, and there's going to be, of course, s observation, mm -hmm. solar, and nocturne. Mm -hmm. So it's, the event starts at 18, uh, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. So uh, first we're going to start with a solar observation mm -hmm. using the unique telescope uh, in North Africa, actually. It's a unique? Yes, uh -huh. actually. We, uh, we got it uh, as a gift from the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project. It's mm -hmm. an international uh, association mm -hmm. who focus on uh, uh, astron uh, solar uh, observing. Yeah, I suppose this one is facilitating observation also for the Eid, I mean, for the crescent of the Eid and the crescent of Ramadan. Certainly, we do have uh, equipment for that also. For that. Mm -hmm. And this uh, special telescope, it's only for the sun. Oh, it's only for yes, the sun. Okay. It's uh, in H Alpha Coronado. Wow. It's a very special telescope and very, very expensive, actually. I suppose, yeah. yeah. You have to take good care of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, mm -hmm. we uh, then. Uh, after that, there's going to be a, an exposition. Then we have members who are going to present the solar system, the planets, and the asteroids, of mm -hmm. course, which mm -hmm. is the main theme of the uh, event. What is an asteroid, actually? For people who do not know what is actually, uh, I mean, everything about what is going on in the universe, we hear a lot about meteorites, asteroids, etc. Is it a planet? Is it a rock? What is it, actually? Okay, so an asteroid, it's rock mm -hmm. that that is flying in orbit around mm -hmm. the sun in our solar system okay? and it's normal to find many exactly the sun, there is right? thousands and millions and billions of asteroids in our solar system of different shapes it seems exactly mm -hmm. in different shapes and sizes mm -hmm. actually you can find ones that are small like 20 centimeters wide and you can find ones that are uh, kilometers wide wow like, uh, five kilometers or even more. 
it is really enjoyable to see them uh, with the telescope and actually it can represent the danger when they get closer to Earth. Exactly. That's where, why we are organizing this event and this awareness campaign. Mm -hmm. Actually, we hear a lot of rumors and uh, about asteroids in uh, the news and uh, on the web. Sometimes the people start talking about an apocalypse. Mm -hmm. An asteroid is going to hit Earth and we're going to die and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's about films. Exactly. <laughs> and people are becoming paranoid. Exactly, exactly. So here, we, uh, this event, main objective is to... Uh, sensibilize. Exactly, to sensibilize people and to explain to them the scientific facts. Mm -hmm. Give them the scientific fact facts. Actually, scientifically, asteroids are dangerous. Mm -hmm. We have this threat, it exists, mm -hmm. okay? And we have to start finding a solution to it. Mm -hmm. Because actually, it all, uh, I think a lot of people know the story about dinosaurs, mm -hmm. how they went extinct. Mm -hmm. One of the hypotheses, which might, which most probable one, is that a big asteroid hit Earth and it created a huge dust uh, and uh, clouds. Mm -hmm. It covered the sun and uh, it uh, emitted uh, uh, gases mm -hmm. that are uh, that uh, caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. And as humans, we should be smarter than uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> we shouldn't uh, die like uh, uh, like uh, dinosaurs. Yeah. And uh, as I said, since there are millions of asteroids in our solar system, mm -hmm. some of them comes really close to Earth. Their orbit, actually, in, uh, there is this, uh, an asteroid belt mm -hmm. which exists between the planet Mars and the planet Jupiter. Mm -hmm. So it is really far away, actually. Yeah. Okay? But some of these asteroids go off their orbit mm -hmm. and out of this belt and could cross the uh, orbit of the Earth. Right. And that, then it, causes, uh, it, might, it causes a threat. To us. Yeah. And okay. is there a possibility to avoid that? Exactly. That's what we are working on mm -hmm. and that's what the scientific communi community is focusing on. Mm -hmm. Protecting Earth from near uh, Earth objects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and to find a solution, a lot of agencies are working on this. And I have a new uh, latest news mm -hmm. about this. The Japanese uh, space agency, mm -hmm. uh, JAXA, Mm -hmm. uh, last Wednesday, they uh, sent a, um, a spacecraft mm -hmm. that arrived to an asteroid. Okay. okay. Uh, so this uh, spacecraft is called Hayabusa. Mm -hmm. It's a Japanese air, uh, spacecraft. It, it stayed in uh, in her way. It spent three years actually to arrive to the asteroid, mm -hmm. and it. Uh, crossed about 5.2 billion kilometers during this. Wow. It's very enormous mm -hmm. uh, distance. Actually, as an example, the moon is uh, four uh, thousand, you know, uh, four hundred thousand kilometers. That's mm -hmm. the moon. Yeah. And imagine how far is this? Uh, yeah, and we heard asteroid. that the sun is gonna remain also farther yeah. and farther. It seems so, that we are having plenty of stories about exactly. sun getting closer to Earth. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, so it seems that you are going to facilitate, as an association, as a society, you are trying to facilitate these notions for kids in order to make them more interested. According to your experience, how do you feel about? children today are they getting really interested in astronomy you know what is going on in the universe or still they are reluctant to go or I f uh, they find things difficult for to their minds okay actually that's this i think this is something special about tunisia mm -hmm. that we find both extremes parts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes sometimes we find children who are uh, who don't who are not interested in such things mm -hmm. and sometimes we find children who are very interested and very talented and they always want to know more and they always want to learn more and they keep asking questions cool. without stopping they are curious. and I can give you an, as an example our uh, youngest member mm -hmm. it's a girl called Lina mm -hmm. and when she joined our uh, uh, scientific society mm -hmm. she was nine years old wow Imagine she that. is nine years old yes this is really great and yeah. it gives hope actually in Tunisian youth. Of course, mm -hmm. and that's what we are, why we are working on this. 
we w each time when we when we go to schools and uh, e either primary schools or uh, youth mm -hmm. houses mm -hmm. in different regions we went to Gasrin we went to Gebes we went to Tatawin we went to Jerba actually Personally, with the society, I visited almost all Tunisia. <laughs> cool, cool. And yes. it's really important in order to, I mean, here to disseminate this culture. Exactly, the, exactly. Uh, I mean, uh, far away uh, and regions. Everywhere where I go, I find always there is children who are interested. When you give them the opportunity to discover these things, mm -hmm. they always say, wow. And yes. you see a huge sparkle in their eyes. Yeah. It's an amazing feeling for us as volunteers, personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's I consider it as the my pay, uh, my pay. Yes. That's only uh, that's the only thing that I want to see that spark sure. in uh, children. Sure. Sure. You are eyes. passing actually. You are transmitting this passion for our children, and uh, you make them feel as if they are living in the universe. Exactly. And they discover exactly. things they don't know about it. Exactly. You are giving them the means. And um, what about uh, the activities actually uh, that are going to be organized for children during this day, which is the 30th? What kind of workshops? How can you facilitate the information for them? Are they going to have access to some of the telescope to see, to explain? Uh, we know that there are certain stars that have names and uh, things like that. So um, do you have um, the means actually, the, the, the way and the, the, the system actually? Yes. Because we need certain pedagogy to facilitate the information. Sure. Certainly, certainly. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the aspects that we are working on mm -hmm. as the scientific society. Most of our members are young students mm -hmm. and we are working in uh, creating trainers. Mm -hmm. These trainers who do workshops and especially to children. Okay, And we try to adapt our, all our resources to the, the, to the young ages, cool. to children. And of a, in this event, we're going to have, of course, observation, as I said, mm -hmm. solar and nocturne. And during the night, they're going to have free access to telescopes. Mm -hmm. And luckily, they're going to discover five things, six things, actually, mm -hmm. starting with the sun. And then during the night and right after the sunset, we're going to watch the planet Venus mm -hmm. and then planet Jupiter, then planet Saturn. And then we're going to watch uh, the planet Mars and they're going to watch the moon. Imagine during one night we're going to watch all of these objects. To discover all these planets. Exactly. And how, um, I mean, how, uh, what is the distance that this tele telescope help you watch over? So the telescope is a sort of a huge look. Mm -hmm. It magnifies. Oh. So it, for example, in Venus as a planet, Actually, when when people see it and children see it, they don't believe they going to, they are watching a planet. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is a bright dot in the sky, and mm -hmm. most people think it is a star. Yeah. Actually, it's not a star; it's a planet. Mm -hmm. And when they see it in the telescope, they get may more amazed because they see that it has phases, like the moon. Mm -hmm. It starts with a crescent, and it gets bigger, mm -hmm. and then it gets more smaller. Mm -hmm. And when you see it uh, like in the telescope and you see it, it's shaped like a moon, mm -hmm. you get what? Well, I, I, mm -hmm. People don't uh, imagine that. And for example, in Jupiter, we're going to watch it, the clouds of Jupiter, mm -hmm. which has very cool colors. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, probably we're going to watch also the red spot, which is a huge uh, tornado in uh, Jupiter, which was seen mm -hmm. like... 300 years ago and it's still going right now yeah still now yes and saturn what's amazing to watch about saturn is uh, the rings of mm -hmm. saturn imagine when when we all uh, think about planet we thought we think it's simply a sphere mm -hmm. actually this is a sphere and there is a ring around it oh yeah and that's easily uh, we can see that easily in uh, the telescopes and of course there is the moon which is the most beautiful, beautiful thing to watch actually oh, yeah? because it has a lot of craters a lot of details that we can watch through the telescopes amazing it makes you actually dream about what's going on in the space what's going on in the university is really interesting so for all those who are really listening don't miss this opportunity because once it is for free it's for everybody 
Two, it is an opportunity for your kids to discover. There are some young trainers, some young people and members of the Tunisian society who can help children understand and learn and discover. And that's what is really uh, interesting. Of course. Mm -hmm. One other uh, part is we're going to have uh, workshops. And as I said, we always try to uh, get closer to these children. Mm -hmm. And in astronomy, we have a big problem is that most of the resources are in French or in English. Mm -hmm. So one of the objectives that we do also is translating these resources so that can so that children like eight years old, nine years old, thirteen, they can understand it easily. Yes. So true, we did translate uh, posters about uh, asteroids. We translated uh, videos from the European Space Agency in Arabic mm -hmm. for children. And also there is going to be another workshop speaking about constellations mm -hmm. this is something that people hear about and they don't actually understand it and it is very in inter inter uh, interesting for people to understand it that when they discover it they say ah so that yeah, we heard uh, about it i had yes, an idea about it exactly sometimes we see pictures but we don't know what is it about exactly so this is the, the time to discover things exactly and what are constellations People uh, sometimes they all they the, the constellations that people know that are uh, popular mm -hmm. like Scorpion and uh, Sagittarius and uh, Balance and uh, oh yeah other, this is yeah. about this, uh, astrology okay that's, that's the astrology. thing and that's the thing what we want to explain to people actually astrology and astronomy they are different. Yeah. And these constellations, mm -hmm. actually, they are, be they belong to astronomy, yes. but they are used by other people who have nothing to do with astronomy it's and kind scientific. Of marketing, you mean? Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of marketing to yes. people believe in certain things yes. that your destiny is in the hand of some stars. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and uh, we try to explain to people the reality mm -hmm. to give them the scientific facts. These objects, mm -hmm. these constellations, are simply group of stars that are in the sky mm -hmm. and ancient people used to think about them as either gods, either animals, either kings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they try to relate some uh, things that happened in their lives with this object, mm -hmm. which of course you know, people they in the have past, nothing they like to do. having legends exactly, and stories exactly. to tell to their kids <laughs> later on. But it's really time to make things more scientific and exactly. believe in less fairy tales. Yes. Well, simply imagine a star that is for, far away from us, like thousands of light years away from us. Mm -hmm. How it's going to affect your life? Mm -hmm. has nothing to do your, uh, with you. Yeah, it's time to wake up, guys. <laughs> exactly. Your life is in your hands. <laughs> so what is coming? So we missed the opportunity to speak about the, um, the, the Sunday, which was organized also in June on the 24th, which is quite interesting for children. Now you're planning for the Asteroid Day, and this is really important to make children understand that it is a day that is celebrated all over the world, and it's really important to promote this culture of space and universe exactly. and astronomy. What are you planning for the coming uh, upcoming days and months, especially that it is holidays for most of kids, and this is the opportunity for you to uh, right. transmit more knowledge about right. the universe? So, uh, actually, during this period, we are all, all, always busy. Yeah, actually. I suppose. Yeah, we uh, sometimes during the month of May and June and April, mm -hmm. we get a lot, a lot of invitations that sometimes we can't uh, fulfill from different schools and stuff like that but uh, why simply because now it's hotter and there is less less cloud and uh, it's a better opportunity to watch the sky yeah so uh, during this period we organized actually a lot of events starting with the observation of the crescent mm -hmm. uh, of the Eid, mm -hmm. which was seen and photographed by our experts mm -hmm. in the Tunisian yeah. Astronomical Society. For those who are really interested, all the photos are available on the uh, Facebook page of uh, La Société Astronomique de Tunis. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and ne then we did uh, the International Sunday, mm -hmm. which we do it every year now since 2012. Uh, in partnership with the uh, Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project, uh, mm -hmm. who donated to us a lot of uh, 
uh, tools to watch the sun and it was a great opportunity to talk about uh, to people about the sun to understand it how it emits light why is it so bright why is, why does it uh, rise and set mm -hmm. and uh, how it emits uh, hot why do we get hot mm -hmm. during the summer and during the uh, winter people so think you are going to explain lots of phenomena that are really yes. happening and it has relation also with uh, exactly. meteorology <laughs> exactly uh, in fact people think for example that uh, it's about the distance, mm -hmm. actually it's not, it's about the orientation of the earth, of mm -hmm. the axis of the earth, and we try to explain that. Other manics that uh, workshops that we, that we do, for example, uh, we did the Eratosthen method mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, to calculate the perimeter of the earth, mm -hmm. which was done like hundreds of years ago, and he did it just with this simple stick and a tape to measure the the, uh, the length of uh, the shadow. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. So we did it, and uh, we explained to uh, children how it works and how, with simple mathematical uh, formulas and a simple stick and a measure tape, you can estimate the perimeter of the Earth. Imagine wow. that. Yes, this is really <laughs> interesting to discover. Okay. So next, our next events, as we said, the asteroid day, mm -hmm. and then we have a... Uh... So it seems that we reached the end of today's English program. Lots of <laughs> things to say from Najmeddin. Thanks, Najmeddin, for telling us all about that. For those who are really interested, they can stay tuned to the Facebook page. Uh, to learn more about astronomy, it's really amazing. And once again, don't forget the opportunity to, uh, to attend the event on June the 30th in the city of at 6 p.m. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Bye bye. FTC. Impossible, I've been 30 minutes. Wow. I've been 30 minutes.